What? What? All right. Hey, what are we? We TJ. We TJ. And this is part seven of the NSG 370 transmission rebuild. Mm -hmm. What's your Jeep? 2006 Jeep Rubicon TJ Wrangler. With a six speed manual. All right, we got a little crunchies in that transmission and we're rebuilding it. And this is part seven, so we are going to be working on the rear transmission housing. So we're going to inspect it. We're going to take the bearings out, seals, all that good jazz in the rear transmission housing in this episode. Let's get at it. All right, so we're jumping right into it. He's removing that Torx right there. What size Torx is it? Looks like it is a 40? Mm-hmm. 45. 45 and that's going to remove that down there it's it looks like that's threaded into this shaft there you need me to help holding it all right he's got it <laughs> give it the beans there we go there you go okay so harley got this out over here this bolt we, we, so this comes out, this this goes through here and here. The reason why I'm showing you all this is because um, we lost the footage. I lost the footage, so I'm showing you after the fact. All right, so that goes in there. This gear bearing, this sets down like this, like so. So it has that... Um, uh, almost like a thrust washer you can tell which side of the gear goes up by that machined groove right there and so that goes down there's a bearing inside there and thrust washer so yeah this uh, this all comes apart just after you take this bolt out mm -hmm. so not much there uh, now you're going to next up you're going to see this horrible bearing here just whoo wee all right, I should do it. All right. Okay. Uh oh, not good. I'm bleeding. You were? Yeah. Oh. Got to get temperature or something. Come on. Come on. Hold on. It is moving. It is? Yeah. It's oh. washed now. It was it's down in a little ways? Oh. Alright, so Harley came up with this idea and it's pretty pretty smart he let me put a light down in there so you can see I can um that we needed something to spread it down there we already bent this ear here uh trying to pull it and so he can't he's like well we need to spread it down there he mentioned a piece of wood and then i got thinking about a socket and, and i think that's an 18 millimeter impact socket fits it almost perfect so I don't know I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this out or not without grinding it um. hold on I wonder if this slide hammer fits that. Is it threaded? No, it's threaded. It's just it I think it's the same. That one has a string book all around the thing. That's actually not a hog. It's a 
Super pods pull that way. Two results here. Yeah, nothing happens. Yeah, we're gonna break this polar. Yeah. Uh oh. We just way upgraded polars. Yes. It moved. Finally. Didn't it? Finally. <laughs> yeah. Come closer. Right, right beside the polar. Did it bend? Go ahead. So we, we we finally moved it. We got it up some. Uh, we have the polar that I originally bought. We're not using. I'm using an OTC, a much bigger polar, uh, probably well maybe three times the size. It did thread into this. We got a. I know that's a 21 millimeter socket in there. I, what do you think, what are the chances we're gonna get out? I think we're gonna get it. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna get it, but this $110, $120 puller down here, the jaws, is not faring out too well. There we go. Now it's gonna pull up a little ways. What? It already moved more. No, it didn't. There we go. Here we come. Yay! Yeah, let's move over. Get far away. Oh my goodness. Woo! Yikes. Um. I don't know. I, I don't know if I would recommend buying that or not. Uh, this right here or I mean you know we're gonna use it because sometimes we don't you need the big one yeah but I will say we look we used 50% of its life <laughs> if not more yeah we it took a beating here let me show it to you this So one option is is to go in there with a carbide grinder, a ball grinder. You know what? Basically one of these, but um, to go in there, let me get, and to just do a line back and forth, and yeah, that'll relieve the bearing. You can do it that way, and that's probably. I would say that's probably the route that people, sh I don't know. I don't, there's no way you can do that right there without another person, unless right. you clamp the thing down. That sucker's in there hard. It's in hard, man, it's hard. Oh, I wanted to show you the polar. So we did bend the ears over a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it definitely can be used for seals. This thing will work great for seals. All right. All right, so this is the last, last Torx here on the rear transmission case. And they have Loctite on. They Again. all do. So, oh, wow. Oh. Well, I think those are the same. Either way, so mark these. Um, rear transmission housing, uh, bearing retainer. So I gotta flip that around and knock it out. Let me see if we got any. I got one dial I need to watch out for.
All right, mark this. Um, you know what? I'm curious. Now go ahead and mark this uh, rear housing bearing. Wouldn't that be on a shell shaft? Yeah, sure. Uh, all right, so I think that'll probably wrap this video up. Um, we're waiting on parts. So I think I already mentioned that in the synchronizers, there's four tab, six tab, and all that. So you kind of got to know that here. Yeah. Oh. You, you kind of got to know that when you're ordering your your kit and so we're not going to go any further with our uh, the trans we're going to get everything clean we're going to get that shaft um, the counter shaft no main shaft we did the main shaft we're going to get the main shaft reassembled with all the bearings all the the synchronizers and everything and these two halves all put back together before we do the other one because we got too much see all that that that's just too much that's too much for us <laughs> we just uh, harley made the comment and i was like eh, that sounds like a pretty good idea i like that idea so that's what we're gonna do so we got almost everything here except for our main bearing kit and synchronizers. So, all right, is that it? Yeah. Well, next video.